I forgot to drive to Chattanooga this morning to meet the, the Fish and Wildlife Service folks from Warm Springs. And they're driving through Knoxville to pick me up. Okay, yeah, can you show them all? Okay, morale check. Yeah. <laughs> hey, all right. Are we ready now? We're ready. Okay, get Definitely them. Ready to go. Okay, we'll get them. <laughs> That's the dog that walks I
Fin clips for genetic. How much is it? Chad, I need the notebook. The good. Look at this. Those are the last. Sorry, I go ahead. That was a really good female there. Mm -hmm. Here comes my ride. <laughs> on the eggs so we and then we add water and then um, and fertilize them for a few minutes just swirl it around so they can yep. now these are cold to Tennessee you said uh-huh yeah they'll be eventually officially stocked okay so tell me what you're doing well, what we're doing here is stirring freshly harvested sturgeon eggs that have been fertilized with five different males and they are now fertilized and we are coating them with I believe it's called Benonite clay which looks like Nestle's quick and gently stirring them so that the eggs get a even coating which helps seal them from fungus and you have to do this for 30 minutes of gentle Turkey feather stroke. <laughs> the bringing of the eggs. So the eggs have been mucked and now they are clean. So now we're going to go put them in the trailer. All right, and then where are you going? <laughs> oh! <laughs> So they would fall down in the cracks of the rock and in the water, the water flowing water between those cracks and the rocks and all that is what provides them, keeps them from getting silted up. And yet we purposely silt them up. So how come they don't, I don't get that. I never have. Because we need them to roll in the hiking yards. I know, but they... you still got them all coated with what in nature would be like not happening. Oh, exactly. It's real fine clay. But it doesn't, do, doesn't hurt. It doesn't. Take your word for it. Fun and pretty good now. Are they? What? Yesterday everything was green, today everything's right pretty much. What? Yeah. You're telling me by tomorrow this will be. I know by Tuesday it will be because I got a tag from Wednesday. Doug Here might sign off on that statement. <laughs>
never had them down there? Or you to head back home. You guys are my real, real true life heroes. The dirty work that's truly important. Stop screaming. Sorry. That's truly important and amazing and is going to impact the world for generations to come. You are changing the world and making it a better place. You really are. 150 million years, and you're bringing it all to Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And they're up. Take me to the river. Oh boy. 
That's a fast way to get. Next up, Seven Island. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Good luck. I'll put one Boy, that thing here in the crap right there. I can't believe how muddy the water is. We don't know muddy water on that. I'm just going to put one on fire. The rest of them I may put another one. And you tell me in half and half. Only thing that does if the current slows way down, yeah, that'll help hold it up just a little bit. A little bit off the bottom. All right. And we're fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Might be fishing tonight. Let's hope tomorrow we're catching. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Nobody's as optimistic as a fisherman. So this line has 125 hooks. Yep. All right. Five chances for a start. <laughs> okay. There's yeah. a lot of fish on the radar right there. I don't know what they are. It just now dropped off down to 40 foot. I don't know what you want to do with it. It's 50 foot now. That's well, good you catch that drop off there. Yeah, that's good. I know this might sound dumb, but how do y'all put y'all's lines out with them big boxes like that? We just about have to pick up the line and let them out. Right. You, sometimes we can point it, you know, and they'll ping off as we back away. Right. But we do it from the front of the boat right. and we're in reverse. I've seen a commercial fisherman down there in Alabama fishing like that. Hold on, here we go. Boy, that is quick. Hey, look at this, folks. It's a lake sturgeon. And it probably came off of the Keller's second line, although it wasn't hooked. It wasn't hooked on the line. It probably got off while they were pulling. Yeah. It may have been in that snag when they were pulling. Uh huh. 
Yeah, because we have just found it on the surface. But we're going to okay. count it on their line. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it's gone, isn't it? I don't know. I think so. I mean, it's so it's a, it's a third on the uh, on the left on side. On the left side. The partial regeneration. So that's one of the fairly early years. Uh-huh. Maybe 2002. Something about the nice looking fish. I look for it in his jaw to see if yeah he's been hooked. <laughs> cool. So there's the hook mark. Uh huh. So he was snagged in there. Okay, let me go get the uh, the kit. So the killers have got two surgeon on this line. This is their tenth line. Right up the head of this island, there's a day board there. You can't quite see it. Looking at this fish, looking for a missing scoop. Brian's counted to five, and that's a pretty good place that's missing there, isn't it? Yeah, uh, you can see where it's been cut. It's, in, it's regenerated a little bit, but it's um, obviously been. Okay, okay. Okay. Good deal. okay, we got a lake sturgeon here in about 55 feet of water. Is that right? 55 feet of water at Tolliver Bend. River Mile 618.5. All right. Good deal. Okay, we're at Polcat Creek, Polcat Branch on Watts Bar Reservoir. Going to pick up the lines. on this line. Okay, there to go.
pretty good. It's pretty cool. Pretty huh? good. Yeah.